Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your daily vibes for today, the 28th. Uh, so it's for the 28th into the 29th, right? So I'm just going to see whatever comes up. Generally, my readings are love readings. They focus around relationships. If you can make it fit another part of your life, so be it. This reading is for somebody. Could be one person, right? Could be ten. Could be a thousand. Could be two thousand. Whatever. Who knows? Who knows? However this applies. May not be for you. Timing is off, okay? You never know when it's going to resonate. Typically these readings resonate a few days later. Um, sometimes they're on the day, though. Sometimes they are, so... Keep in mind that, you know, this the timing is fluid. <laughs> the Four of Wands. This is happiness. Okay, this is a, a new passion, perhaps, um, that leads to happiness. Mm. Abundance as well. Interesting. The King of Cups and the Knight of Cups both in reverse right together. Somebody is detaching from a situation emotionally. Ooh, both of these aces together too and, and they're like uh, contradictory. Interesting. Yikes. Death. On the bottom of the deck. So, endings bring new beginnings, right? I mean, that's the overall energy for this reading. We have a, we have a transformation in the works. We have something that is being released so that you can begin again. This is a transition. So somebody is going through some sort of major transition. Today could be the beginning. Today could be the end. Whichever way it is, the end that leads to a new beginning. And it does make sense. It, it does. But let me make sure that this is focused. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm getting a new camera, just so y'all know. But we'll talk about that when it comes. Anyway, um, there's been a situation where there's been no growth and, you know, uh, no passion. It's like the passion has died, right? I mean, here we have the passion has died. And when you get to that point where there's no more passion... You can choose to deceive yourself and stay stuck, or you can choose to reevaluate your abundance, your, your situation, and come up with a new plan. So it looks like somebody has done their reevaluation, or they're going through that period of reevaluation. During this period, they may be feeling a little bit of emotional withdrawal. And that's normal because, I mean, you have to go through that to, to get to the bottom of things, right? Sometimes you do need to withdraw so that you can see in things clearly, you know? So you can become consciously aware of... What's going to fulfill you? So somebody has been staying in a situation, they have, that has lacked growth and passion and not 
been able to break free, but it looks as though there now all of a sudden there's a new opportunity being offered for perhaps renewal, you know, a renewal of love. Whether you are in a relationship and the love has died, there's an op there's an opportunity for things to get better. There is. There's an opportunity for something to kind of reemerge, right? The love to to come back. There is. There is an opportunity for the love to come back. There's also an opportunity for new love here. Okay? An opportunity for new love after something is is put to bed you know what i mean it's like this 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 match gets put out this fire gets put out and when this fire gets put out for good when somebody stops deceiving themselves then there's there's this new opportunity right here so that's what that looks like there's a, there is because endings bring new beginnings i mean it's it's really um goes well with that death card these two do wherever they've been wherever somebody has been there's been no relationship growth there's been no i want more this is less than fulfilling for me has caused somebody to probably take a few steps back you know and focus on their stability focus on their their legacy, perhaps, even their 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 home, whether they want to move uh, their assets. You know, I need to focus on what this is going to cost me. You know, somebody has been thinking, you know, yeah, there's no love here. I want love. But what is it going to cost me to follow my heart, you know, to go after the love that I deserve? So, you know, somebody has really been stuck in a stagnant, 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 stagnant situation where there's like a lack of any kind of excitement at all. It's like, I just don't have any excitement for this. And it feels like now the truth is about to come out that you're ready to cross that bridge that you have been reluctant to cross. Somebody has been trying to keep things under control in a commitment, trying to keep things structured, trying to um, fight this new path, fight starting this new chapter that's been wanting to start. Really trying to basically... Reluctant to change the course because, you know, it was comfortable. But this change of course is needed because you're not happy. Fighting, fighting destiny is only going to cheat yourself. You're only going to cheat yourself by, by fighting destined change, right? So, we have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio right here, right in the middle. This this water sign, if it's a water sign, could be anybody taking on these energies, has perhaps lost that loving feeling. You know, I've lost that loving feeling. There's no more passion here. And it's it's time for me to... Be loved. Coming to that realization that I want love. I want true love. Somebody's coming to that realization through introspection and withdrawal that I want love. I want true love. Somebody may be deciding that it's time to 
commit themselves to change, that they've been not accepting a change, it's time to, to somebody is maybe seeing light going through that, you know, beyond that doorway is light. It's like the door is open and somebody may have been reluctant to go through the, go through that door and see the light, but it looks like they've had plenty of time to, to wake up. Somebody has become consciously aware of where their abundance really lies and what is going to make them abundant. Interesting. We're going to shuffle these and see what we can get for clarifiers. Somebody is going through some sort of awakening by the looks of things. This is becoming consciously aware about abundance, about what's, what's most important in my life. What is most important? Scared to start that new chapter. Somebody has. Somebody has scared to start that new chapter. Perhaps because, you know, they didn't want to hurt somebody. We have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Somebody may have been burying themselves in their work, their job. Everything but love to... Ignore what they really, 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 really wanted. Somebody has been focused on everything but love to protect themselves. But somebody has made a decision to open their heart and offer their heart because perhaps, you know, they don't want to be alone anymore. There is definitely a, a new offer of love. You could be receiving a message of love. Or there's just a new connection here that could lead to love. After you've been, lost that loving feeling in another situation. It's like the decision is being made. And this is the decision of a heart versus... financial stability right I mean this is what this is so it feels as though there is somebody that is perhaps deciding made the decision To perhaps go after love because I, I have enough I have enough I have enough money now I'm feeling really good about my financial situation and now the time is is ripe for a new beginning here so there is a new beginning on the horizon that somebody has been scared to accept. It's like they have. They have been. They've been trying to not go through that door because, you know, once you walk through that door and fall in love, then it starts, right? Because this is like a commitment. Somebody has been protecting themselves from falling in love for real. Perhaps even staying in a situation that was dead because it was safe, but living in living in illusion, and it feels like the illusion, the illusion aspect of this dynamic has been washed away. There's, you can't pretend anymore. I can't pretend anymore that there's any growth here. 
I think there's a, there's a spark that has died. Okay, there's an old flame or something like that that has died for somebody. And now there's an opportunity for, for new love. I think there's a message of new love coming in. Somebody has made a decision to make an offer of some sort. There's some sort of message of the decision has been made to make an offer or communicate or accept an offer. This is the beginning of love, the very beginning. It's where you take that playful approach and there's flirting going on. And I think it's with somebody new. I do. Because there's a lack of passion someplace else. There's no passion, there's no growth, there's no excitement. So we have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Somebody has lost that loving feeling and they're probably headed in a new direction after protecting themselves for way too long. It's like, you know what, I know that there's abundance. I know that there's more abundance elsewhere. Somebody is perhaps finding an abundant new beginning. Where they won't have to do it alone. Be careful. If you don't want love. Because there's, there's an opportunity to fall in love here. There is. With somebody that you may have just been flirting with. Maybe this was just flirting. You weren't planning on falling in love. And all of a sudden you fall in love. So flirting that leads to love. I mean, that's kind of like what this is. Somebody has been reluctant, though, to close one door. But this could close the door. This could close that door that you've been reluctant to close that has no more growth and passion. All of a sudden, you, you run into somebody. The spark is, the spark is there. Or there's, a, there's, an, there's an attraction or there's some flirty conversation. And you decide, you know what? I want this. After being stuck for so long in a less than passionate situation. I think somebody's been stuck in a commitment that lacks passion. It may be abundant, it may be rich with money or whatever, but the love is no longer there. The love and the passion is no longer there. And all of a sudden there's this chance meeting. That catches you off guard and helps you to close that door that is already broken. It's like, no, I, I, this is what I want. I, I deserve this love. I want this love. This feels so good. This is what I want. I'm ready. I've made that decision that I can't, I can't pretend. I can't stall anymore and stay in this situation where There's no more fire. So I think there's there's somebody is coming to some sort of realization, making a decision that something is dead with that death card. And now there's an opportunity. There is. It's like there's a, all of a sudden there's this message or this connection that kind of like blows them away.
so yeah, I feel like today is a day of so perhaps there's some flirting that's something that starts out as flirting or did start out as flirting that turns into love leads to love and abundance So there could, you could receive some sort of message or run into somebody. It's almost like you're going to run into somebody. And and this, remember, the timing is fluid. This could happen the next couple days during the week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, whatever. All of a sudden, you, you go somewhere to the store. You run into somebody that you haven't seen in a while. And there's a shift. There's a shift. It, it, it wakes you up. It makes you decide, you know, this feeling is what I want to feel. I want that, that love and feeling again. Fresh air. Your body needs refreshment from oxygenated, oxy, oxygenated air generated by grass, trees, plants, and flowers. Spend time outside today as near to Mother Nature's cradle as possible. Open your curtains and windows to refresh your home as well. And if you think about fresh air, it's fresh everything, right? A fresh new beginning. Fresh. It's time to start fresh. Somebody has been protecting themselves by staying in a situation that was safe but no love and passion. All of a sudden there's this new connection that is very fun, flirty, and it's almost like, ooh, you know what I mean? It's like sparks, but little sparks. It's like pitter-patters, this pitter-pattery connection that pushes someone over the edge. It says, you know what, this is what makes them realize, I want this. All of a sudden, there's like this realization, I want this. This is what I want. A fresh new beginning is on the horizon. Because something has already ended. Whether it's ended physically or not. It's ended. Ooh, on the bottom. Release and surrender. We shower you with blessings of our radiant love. Open your arms and release the challenges that you've held tightly gripped within your hands. Yeah, we talked about that. Open your hands, arms, and heart. To our love and assistance. And this is what this is. It is. Somebody is needing to release a stagnant, less than passionate situation. Because there's a, there's a new opportunity here. There is. There absolutely positively is. It's a time of transition. Good luck.